but I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. He said, I'd rather cut my hand off than ever lay it on you or lay it upon you. Drink tea. There's lots of tea. But like lots of tea. Like lots of tea. Well, what happened here? Whoa, what happened here? Simon made me feel like the most beautiful woman in the world. But, like when I was around Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the whole world. Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? You think it's funny, bitch. Amber has been allegedly caught stealing movie quotes for her testimony. The internet is buzzing with rumors that Amber has been stealing lines from famous movies in order to make her testimony against Johnny more dramatic. And he balled up his fists, leaned back, and headbutted me square in the nose. While some of these rumors have been debunked to be false transcripts, there are still other comparisons being continuously pointed out, with video testimonies of Amber and movie scenes side by side. So what exactly did Amber allegedly copy? What do people have to say about it? Keep watching to find out. On Friday, May 6th, Amber took the stand to give her testimony and discuss the beginning of her relationship with Johnny. This is when people first noticed something strange about the way Amber spoke. And it wasn't just the way she spoke, but it was also the words she was saying that made it appear as if she was doing a movie scene. It wasn't long before viewers realized why Amber's testimony sounded so familiar. And they accused her of plagiarizing lines from the 1999 film, The Talented Mr. Ripley. One Twitter user wrote, OMG, after sharing side-by-side -side quotes from Amber's testimony and the talented Mr. Ripley, check out what Amber Heard said on the stand yesterday and how it compares to the lines of the talented Mr. Ripley. Oh my goodness, this is insane, but will you be the judge? Check out this scene in The Talented Mr. Ripley, starring Gwyneth Paltrow as Mark Sherwood, discussing her love interest, Dickie Greenleaf, played by Jude Law. Another dialogue. The thing with Dickie, it's like the sun shines on you, and it's glorious, and then he forgets you, and it's very, very cold. Compare what you just saw to this section of Amber's testimony, where she discusses Johnny's two personalities. I felt like the most beautiful person in the world when I was around Johnny. You know what made me feel like a million dollars? It felt like a dream. It felt like absolute magic, and then he'd vanish, and there'd be no way to contact him. Although Amber did not quote the movie scene word for word, this part of her testimony definitely gives off major talented Mr. Ripley vibes. However, this is not the only movie fans claim Amber stole lines from. She also was accused of stealing quotes from Notting Hill, such as, drink tea, there's a lot of teeth, and he's drinking Bex and tea, Mildred Pierce. Drink tea, there's lots of tea. But like, lots of tea. Like, lots of tea. Oh, I'm sorry for doing that. I'd rather cut off my hands and apologize profusely. You know how he was. He said, I'd rather cut my hand off than ever lay it on you, true detective. Simply apply a couple pounds of pressure and snap your wrist, he said as he drew her into him. Do you know how many pounds of pressure it takes to break a human wrist? What happened here, Shrek? What happened here and what made you think I didn't recognize this carpet? I've been on this carpet and I've lost weeks of my life to it. And you have to get off this carpet, Alex, and fight. I was just sitting there thinking about it, looking at the filthy carpet. I'm wondering how I ended up on it and why I never noticed it was so filthy before. I'm not sure what else to do. One fan said that, I love how she says, wow, what happened here? Exactly like in Shrek. Another fan stated that it's almost as if she's a robot who derives her entire understanding of human emotion from the media. One more commented that, I'm not sure if she saw the bottle rape in a movie, but I'm guessing she got the idea from the story of silent film legend Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, who was falsely accused of killing starlet Virginia Rapp by raping her with a bottle. Another comment says that the audacity to steal from a movie in which he may recognize his ex. She's so messed up that it's sad. One stated that, Elaine, Amber, be careful what you say to the judge and jury. Make sure it all makes sense. Turd. Okay, now watch the movie. Another comment further stated that, that makes sense. According to Dr. Curry, they lack personality. They are all empty. They are vampires who feed on the life force of others. One said that the first was The Crucible, 1996, which starred Winona Ryder and Daniel Day-Lewis. Ironically, people use lies for personal gain, regardless of the consequences, tearing apart families and communities, ruining lives, and not to mention blatantly lying in court. Another said that, to be fair, JD is a movie reference enthusiast. We've seen his vulgar text in which he begins making Monty Python references with Drown the Witch and Let's See If She Sings First, among other things. He could have said some of these things, albeit in a joking tone, or this video could just be stretching. 
There should be at least an hour of footage from the trial where she makes movie quotes. Record anyone for 100 hours, and they're bound to say something similar to a movie, even if completely unintentionally. One more fan said that Amber is like a magpie, collecting bits and pieces of movies and novels to line her soul's barren nest. This video is fantastic, but your examples are merely a drop in the bucket. What do you think of Amber seemingly stealing lines from movies? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.